Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm trying some new stuff with the sound. You know, I'm recording this in my computer. That makes editing a little faster, so I can be all efficient and professional with you all. So let me know how this goes. And uh, yeah, let's let's talk about Google, guys. Things things are not good. Things are not good. So for those of you guys who don't know, let, let's back up a little bit, okay? So several months ago, there were some signs that Google was testing out a particular search engine. Well, not its particular search engine, a Chinese version of its existing search engine to meet the demands of, you know, that freedom-loving communist government they have in China? You know, very pro-censorship. Yeah, to meet the demands of the Chinese authoritarian government. It was essentially a suppression of speech, a limit on freedom of press, usual communist stuff. And Google was really caving into those demands. So there were reports of uh, Google testing out its Chinese search engine, the mobile version. I will link an NPR article down below. I know a lot of you guys, including myself, we're not really big fans of NPR, but I try to, you know, bring in a few left-wing sources every now and then just to keep it biased, or sorry, unbiased. Anywho, uh, so that, that, that was uh, a big alarm sign. You don't want Google to cater to the needs of some authoritarian government, but, uh, well, here we are. Anyways, moving forward, there is this report at The Intercept, and I've looking, looked at other sources too. You guys do your own stuff. But there was a memo that was leaked within Google, and the memo essentially showed, the memo was authored by a Google engineer who was asked to work on a project who was like they were cultivating Google's search system I think the project it was codenamed Dragonfly and it would require you to log in to perform searches and people who perform those searches both the search and the searchers location as in the people doing the searches would be tracked in Google this was done at the request of uh, the Chinese government so, and this was not limited to Chinese citizens. So, for example, if you're traveling to the uh, to China on a vacation, you do a search in Google, whatever it may be, your searches and your location will be tracked. Doesn't take a genius to figure out why governments would want you to do this. This is a uh, all sorts of stuff, and Google is bending the knee to this authoritarian communist request. They were like, "Yeah, we're going to do this." Um, now moving forward to a bit of other stories I'm gonna try and tie these all back to a rainbow you know tie the little bow I don't know why I said rainbow I'm really sorry a little nervous with the sound anyways uh, a few months ago uh, there was a leaked video from Breitbart I don't know how they got that leaked video but they got it it was reaction to the Google executives with regards to the election in the United States and they were like oh my god how can we have such populism and whatever why didn't we not try to control it rather than listen to my bullshit commentary about the video I will link the actual Breitbart video in the description check out the video and check out the reaction of Google to the best of my understanding the people in Google were like this is not what we wanted we should have done better to prevent this anyways moving on um, there is a Fox News report on Google okay and I will link that report down in the description do check that report out to its entirety so you know President Trump's travel ban from certain countries predominantly Muslim countries he enacted a travel ban Google and its employees several of its employees were actively trying to doctor search results the way Google search results is officially supposed to work, let's say you search how to cook eggs. Let's say you search that in Google. Generally, we are under the impression that the most popular search results relating to that statement will show up on top, right? That's generally why we trust Google. Google was essentially trying to doctor its search results for certain keywords. Keywords like Islam, keywords like Latino, keywords like immigration, so on and so forth. Google wanted to doctor its search results so that when you search for those terms, you get the kind of results that Google feel will sway your political opinion in the way that they're more leaning towards. Google people, employees within Google, were brainstorming and thinking about that particular idea. And of course, when people outside of Google got wind of it, that, that's a very bad look if you're a tech company, right? So Google was asked to make a statement. Let me read that statement to you guys. 
Google, the statement reads, these emails, the emails talking about, you know, their employees brainstorming on how to sway public opinion with their search results, these emails were just a brainstorm of ideas, none of which were ever implemented. Google has never manipulated its search results or modified any of its products to promote a particular political ideology. You'll find the full Fox News report in the video description. Check it out. It is scary. So essentially what Google was saying is that, well, uh, we didn't do it. I mean, we were thinking about doing it, but we didn't do it. So back off. That was Google's claim. Um, I don't know. I... I mean, I don't know what 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 do you guys think? What what do you guys think? Uh, I'm starting to feel really scared about Google because regardless of how you feel about it, regardless of how you feel about it, Google is the most powerful company in the world. They control information. And if they start to using it their means to start swaying political opinions or people's perceptions, Chances are there's very little we can do about this. And it's really, really important that our elected officials be a little more understanding or be a little more aware as to what's happening in the tech industry. I don't know, you guys. Maybe I'm just, you know, spinning conspiracy theories here. I don't know. But this whole thing seems really scary to me. Let, let me know what you guys think. And also let me know if the sound is any better. I think I might be messing things up, but... Anyways, you guys, that's it for this one. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.